Hello once more and welcome. This is something of a postscript uh, in our series on prayer, Growing in Prayer. I wanted to add one session to talk a little bit about resources, about books, and um, also to, to mention a few things which I forgot to mention in the, in the series, things perhaps that could be stressed more than, than I uh, stress them. Uh, first of all, uh, in ascetical prayer, and in particular in vocal prayer, um, it's important for us to remember that we never outgrow vocal prayer. Um, the, the entire series has presented a journey of prayer, a journey into the interior life that begins in vocal prayer, but then is meant to develop and, and, and grow and proceed into meditation and then affective prayer, prayer simplicity, and uh, Lord willing, into mystical prayer. But it's important to know that we never outgrow vocal prayer. And for that reason, it's very important to pray vocal prayer well. So um, I hope that that session on vocal prayer is something that will be helpful because that is a foundation for prayer. And we always, always come back to vocal prayer. No matter how long we live, no matter how advanced a person may be in the interior life, uh, he always, she always uh, comes back to vocal prayer. Uh, our holy liturgy, our, our, the, the celebration of the Mass, is an expression of vocal prayer in a sense. So uh, the Our Father, <laughs> can we grow, outgrow the Our Father? Uh, certainly not. So that uh, session on vocal prayer is very important. Uh, secondly, the uh, session that I, that I did on meditation, I focused on meditation, which is extremely important um, for us in our journey of prayer. I didn't mention very much uh, in the session on uh, meditation, I didn't mention very much affective prayer or the prayer of simplicity in any detail, but I hope that you might uh, do some reading and investigate that aspect of meditation a little bit more yourself. Another prayer that I didn't mention, which perhaps ought to be mentioned, is centering prayer. Uh, centering prayer is a form of the prayer of simplicity. And uh, centering prayer could be helpful for people, and centering prayer could also be harmful to people. Uh, in understanding the journey of prayer as a development that begins in vocal prayer, moves into meditation. Meditation becomes more heartfelt in um, affective prayer and more simple and heartfelt in the prayer of simplicity. A person cannot move immediately from uh, poorly prayed vocal prayer into the prayer of simplicity and expect to benefit from it. Uh, because centering prayer belongs in the category of the prayer of simplicity, I would also say a person cannot move from poorly prayed vocal prayer into centering prayer and expect much benefit. So, uh, so let me again advise, uh, advise you, uh, if, if I might, that this development of the growth of prayer, this journey in the interior life, is, is important to proceed one step at a time. Um, and uh, there's not exactly a fast food restaurant of the interior life. We don't uh, skip steps uh, very fruitfully. So, um, well, just a, a suggestion anyway. Uh, centering prayer can be helpful if it is um, something that's entered as part of one's entire journey of prayer and the foundations are strong, uh, habits of meditation are well formed, then perhaps a centering prayer might be helpful. And so you might look into that. Uh, also in, in the category of mystical prayer, in the category of contemplation, I did not mention at all the second dark night which John of the Cross 
um, discusses and explains for us. I talked about the first dark night, the dark night of the senses. There is another dark night, the dark night of the spirit, as St. John of the Cross names it, which, uh, which occurs later in the, uh, in the journey of prayer. Um, I, I didn't go into that at all because I wanted to focus on what I thought would be most helpful to those in the early stages of the interior journey, and I wanted to present what might be most helpful uh, to those of us. Those who are advanced in prayer, who have cause to be concerned about the dark night of the Spirit, well, I expect that they have resources and perhaps a, a spiritual director who might be able to advise them in that. And certainly there's a lot written about it. You know, so if you're interested in the dark night of the Spirit, well, that's another advanced uh, topic beyond the scope of this course, so to speak, beyond the, the scope of this series. And last, I wanted to offer you some books that have been very, very helpful to me, and perhaps they could be to you also. Uh, certainly, Holy Scripture. I didn't bring a Bible, but that's so, to this session, that's, it's so foundational um, that it perhaps deserves uh, mention and, and, and acknowledgement that that prayer is built upon the Word of God. And so foundations in Scripture are essential. Foundations also in the teachings of the Church are essential. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, and this is the second edition, the Universal Catechism, has an entire section on prayer, which is beautiful and helpful. And I strongly recommend that you are, are familiar with and, uh, and read through not only the entire Catechism, but in particular, the section on prayer. It's a very beautiful section. I brought some of the uh, masters of the spiritual life with me. Uh, St. Teresa of Avila. Uh, this is uh, an ICS publication, a uh, Carmelite publication. This is one of the collected works, volume two. This particular volume has both the interior castle and the way of perfection in it. Two very, very helpful and important works on the interior life. Uh, both of those works, by the way, The Interior Castle and The Way of Perfection, are available online. And so uh, they can be downloaded and, and read uh, for free at your leisure. So also, the Master St. John of the Cross, this is a collected uh, volume, collected uh, works volume also, St. John of the Cross, also published by the Carmelites ICS. Uh, many of St. John of the Cross's works are available for free online also and can be downloaded, printed, and, uh, and read, highlighted, underlined, and so on at your leisure. Uh, St. John of the Cross and Teresa of Avila, the two Carmelite masters of the interior life. A more recent author is Father Jordan Allman, O.P., uh, Dominican. This book of his, Spiritual Theology, is excellent, an excellent summary of uh, traditional uh, Catholic spiritual theology. And there's much in here that's very helpful. He has a chapter on the grades of prayer. He develops uh, and discusses in detail each of the grades of prayer. It's, and it's... Uh, there are many other very important, very helpful chapters in here on the virtues and um, many, there, there, there are many, many helpful chapters in this book and so I would strongly recommend it. This book also is available online for free. You can do a, a search, a Google search or another search and uh, find a Jordan Allman, A-U-M-A-N-N, -N, and uh, Spiritual Theology. An excellent book, really, yes. Uh, Father Garigou Lagrange, another Dominican, who taught for, I think it was 50 years at the Angelicum, uh, a real scholar, uh, a theologian of great weight. Uh, and his works are profound, beautiful, very helpful. This small book, The Three Ways of the Spiritual Life, this one's published by Tan Books, 
this is available online and for free. Father Garagou Lagrange, uh, Garagou and then a dash Lagrange, OP, the three ways of the spiritual life. Uh, Father Garagou Lagrange has a, another uh, real classic exposition of the interior life, the three ages of the interior life. Uh, so the, the titles are very similar, but this the three ages of the interior life is a two-volume set. Uh, this is also published by Tan Books. And uh, this is for anyone who, who wants to really probe into our Catholic understanding of growth in prayer and the interior life. This is, well, this is just excellent. The three ages of the interior life. It's beautiful. Excellent. Uh, finally, my own humble offerings. Uh, my first book <clears throat> on the interior life and prayer is, is this, The Ordinary Path to Holiness. The Ordinary Path to Holiness. This was self-published by Conversion Press. Uh, there are still some copies of this available through Fidelis Publications, which is on the website. Uh, renewthechurch.com. Uh, this, this version, uh, this book, The Ordinary Path to Holiness, was taken up and, and published by Alba House, and so uh, this is the Alba House edition. It's basically the same book. There were very few changes that I, that I put from this one to this one, but uh, this one, this edition, the Alba House, has an introduction by Father Benedict Groeschel, uh, for which I'm very grateful. Uh, this edition is available through All the House, uh, also Amazon.com, Barnes and Noble, and other places like that have them. The Daughters of St. Paul uh, frequently will carry this in their bookstores if you have one of their bookstores nearby. Um, and in, in this book, The Ordinary Path to Holiness, either edition, I present the grades of prayer, the journey of prayer, along with the very, very important three stages of the interior life, which, of course, Father Garrigou Lagrange develops in his, in his books here as well. Uh, finally, this is my second book on the interior life. Uh, this is entitled The Interior Liturgy of the Our Father. This also is described and is available through the website uh, renewthechurch.com if you'd like to look into either of those books, uh, they might be helpful. So, the way to grow in prayer is to pray. Uh, it's important that we know as much as we, uh, as we can learn about prayer from a solid Orthodox Catholic point of view so that we don't get uh, ambushed or led astray by people who don't know what they're talking about. Um, in our Catholic tradition, we have many real masters of the interior life, true guides, sure and helpful guides in Jesus Christ. And so if we stick with them, we're, we're going to be all right and we're going to grow in prayer. So I encourage you to pray, to seek the Lord Jesus Christ, to pray for His grace, to pray for the work of the Holy Spirit that that the Holy Spirit will guide you more and more deeply into uh, the life in Him. Uh, may God bless you, may God bless me, may God bless us all as we seek Him one day at a time. Thank you very much and God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.